Now, if the Chancellor needs an example of a company that has prospered despite the recession when he delivers his autumn statement, he need only look to Land Rover. Its last quarterly sales figures showed a 14% rise. But the company's success is no easy ride. Even it admits to playing catch-up with its competitors. As our business editor, Laura Kunzberg, has been hearing, it is a constant struggle against the odds, some of which Mr Osborne could improve. There's no easy way round in this economy. But this firm keeps coming out on top. Spending heavily on products and staff, Land Rover's moved assertively into foreign markets, with lessons for George Osborne from home and abroad. We have to be globally competitive and there is more work to be done. The education system needs to be able to produce engineers and great designers. The infrastructure in terms of roads and rails, that's really important. You know, if you're working a 24-hour shift up at Halewood, that means 24 hours. The roads have to work. You're held up as a great success story, but actually you're still catching up with your competitors around the world. Going into China and manufacturing as one example, our competitors have been there for years. So we're, in that sense, playing catch-up rather than doing something unique. The production line looks totally different from when Craig Fitzgerald started 19 years ago. You wear the quick gloves, assembly gloves. He told me then there were twice as many staff but making half the number of cars. Now, some of his workmates are robots, but the firm has been hiring plenty of humans again too. In the last year, 28,000 people applied for 1,400 jobs. The workforce has changed and it appreciates what we've got and how hard it is outside the factory. So I've seen friends lose jobs and you know, pay rise for four or five years. Friends who are doing two, three jobs just to make ends meet. You know, from the 70s, 80s, the early 90s, the way manufacturing was, we was a big player in the whole world and now we were sort of dwindling down. That's because obviously other countries can do things cheaper. But I think we need to uh, put money back into our own country and encourage us as people to start producing again, regardless if it's a few pence dearer. This company is constantly moving, refusing to stand still in order to succeed. But much of the economy is stuck, stagnant, perhaps right now even going into decline. The country, many companies and many of us are finding it harder to make ends meet. A near neighbour's powered out of recession, supplying kit for Land Rover. They've seen off a few slumps, but say business is now unrecognisable. They have to work harder, smarter, and believe any firm that won't adapt won't stay around. You can't afford to, to rest on your laurels and think that, OK, I have an order today that will last for five years, I will get the next one. It's a very, very short-term view, and you'll be, somebody will catch up with you. They may not be in this country, they may be in Europe or, or further afield, but you will get caught out. George Osborne knows his opponents this week will be all too ready to pounce. It is his job to try to steer all of us away from economic danger. But right now, even the best have to drive themselves harder and harder to survive and succeed. Laura Kunzberg, ITV News, Solihull.